Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today I want to talk about your, shall we call it, walk-in uh, procedure to, to get into a dress, to address the ball. This is something you want to really get yourself to the point where you've got it memorized pretty down pat so that it, it really just everything falls into place, okay? And, and it, becomes, it becomes just like you picking up a pencil to write your name. Whatever you've, whatever you've, you learned as a child and everything else, it's still there, just like tying your shoelaces. All right, but it's like anything else. This needs to be done very precisely and accurately to be consistent every time. Okay, now I want to show. You, I'm going to talk about some some of the major points we should be talking about, and this just happened in a recent lesson I was giving, and I always work on this very, very diligently with most of my students, because again. As you know, the number one premise is to set up the terms of motion. Now, I'm not saying the way I do it is, 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 is the greatest, but it's the way that I see most tour players do it. Jack Nicklaus does it, and I do it almost exactly alike. Now, I always say, I always like to walk in being right-handed. I start back here behind the target. I check out my spot, and I've talked about where I, I keep the, the point of the shaft over the ball. So when I'm walking in, I'm pivoting from that point where the ball is. Say the ball is right here. I don't know if it's going to stay up on here for now, but it's right there. So I'm taking that shaft from here, and I, I, I keep a pivot point on the shaft with it, and I come right around till I go 90 degrees, and that's when I hear in my mind, I go, ding, 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 and the bell rings. Now, I always have my right hand down here, which means I'm gonna, before I go to the ball, I'm going to put, pick the club up, point it at my left, uh, my left hip, and then come from there, creep in until my hands go straight down, and I check the face to the target, okay? But why is this important here? Because when I'm doing it this way, my, I got the right length of the club in my hand for whatever club I have, that then when I finally put this foot down, when it comes down, this is over the ball, I'll have, it should be pretty close to my perfect distance from the ball, toes from the ball, okay? I had a student right like this doing this. He was holding it down this end in his right hand. And when he walked in and he matched all of this, see he came in and now he's way back here and then when it's time to go to the ball, he's going like, he's, he's bending over and he's reaching like crazy, especially when he now has to slide from here. He, he, he puts the club on the ground, he slides both hands down until he gets it right, and then he's kind of plating his feet, putting his feet down. So he's, he's struggling like crazy to find the right distance. All right? So I think that, that without a doubt, you're going to see most players, you don't see how the, any tall players walking in right-handed with their right hand at the top, where the left hand's supposed to be. Sometimes you, they'll grip it up here and then they'll just leave the hand there, okay? So, but the point is now you just got the perfect room to, to slide your left hand on the club, so that's gonna more guarantee your absolute correct distance from the ball. And then once you get into that more absolute correct distance from the ball, then that more assures you that you're gonna also have what? You're gonna, you're gonna be able to stand here, you're gonna have the right, the right posture in terms of your knee flex into the ball, the, the right bend at the, at the waist, head's in a good position, straight up from the spine so that you're looking down. You know, your eyes here, your eyes will go down. That's why you can't wear uh, bifocals because I'm, I'm looking out the very bottom of my glasses. So my head's uh, tall and, every, and everything and my hands are straight down. So I can stand there and be ready to hit a good golf shot. My weight's in the arches and naturally if you look at my hip socket to the, to the ground should be about the ankles. Both feet, because they're they're to get, uh, you know, would be the same. So the weight would be in the arches, which is right here. Equal pressure on the back of the ball pad and the front of the heel pad. But the big thing is, is if you can't find the correct distance from the ball every time with every club in the bag, you're in trouble. And the best way to do it is to grip the club. When you're getting back here to check your target out, you grip it, and then you just leave your right hand right where that point was for your perfect grip. Walk in. Once you make your you make your 90 degree turn, put the club down. And your right hand, your left hand just slides right on there. And you can, now you can check your, your, your thumb to your chest, to your neck. And or, you know, somewhat appearance of where it looks relative. The thumb to the, should be just about where the toes are. All right. So, good procedures for walking into the ball is critical to getting consistently set up to the ball. Because the setup determines the motion. So start here and make sure that, that you take your grip first before you find your spots and start making your 90 degree, you know, turn to the ball to get into that square alignment. All right?
where you hold it to start with is going to make a big difference as to being consistently holding it in the right place with the right stance and posture to hit good shots and shoot those lower scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.